While thinking about what is most important in my life, my initial thoughts were of my relationship with God, my family, and my friends. That is why I am writing about a very close family friend that was recently diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Greg, a devoted husband and father who is only 44 years old, had been having some abdominal pain and losing weight during most of the month of July this year. He just thought he was having some gallbladder issues, so he did not go see a physician immediately. The devastating news came on Friday, August 7, 2015. He woke up having trouble breathing and severe abdominal pain. Stephanie, his wife, an elementary teacher, took him to the emergency room. After undergoing many tests that day, the emergency room physician informed Greg and Stephanie that all the tests he ran were leading him to believe Greg had pancreatic cancer with obvious tumors on both the liver and kidneys. An appointment with an oncologist was made immediately. On Wednesday, August 12, 2015, Greg had a liver biopsy done at Mercy Hospital which confirmed the emergency room's physician's diagnosis. Even worse news was given that Greg had stage 4 pancreatic cancer. He and Stephanie were told that this cancer is very aggressive. His cancer had progressed so severely, the specialists gave him only a few weeks to live. Even though his prognosis were not good, Greg was determined to fight his cancer. He said he believed in God and believed it was God's will would give him a miracle. Greg told Dr. Travis at Highlands Oncology that he had a wife and three children and would not just give up and die without a fight. Dr. Travis told Greg he understood and he would help him fight. He warned Greg that the only treatments he could do was to treat him with really strong chemo. By the time Greg started his chemotherapy treatments, he had not worked for a month. Therefore, he had no income to provide for his family. Fortunately, friends and family stepped in and started helping. This news of Greg being diagnosed with cancer really took everyone by surprise. Greg is funny, loving, honest, and a man loved by many. So his friends started trying to think of ways to raise money. My dad and another close friend of Greg's decided they needed to have a raffle to raise money. My family owns Harlan Honda, so they donated a four-wheeler to raffle, and the close friend donated a gun. When my dad told my mom about the raffle fundraiser he was going to plan, she took matters into her own hand and came up with a bigger plan to have a big fundraiser event that included the raffles. She got together with Greg's sister and some of Greg's other family members. They all thought it was a great idea. My mom successfully secured many items to have both the silent and live auction along with the four-wheeler raffle. A logo was made in honor of Greg's to place on the t-shirt cups and hats to sell at the event. The logo was a purple camouflage pancreatic cancer ribbon with deer antlers, ducks, and a fish. Greg is an avid outdoorsman that loves to hunt and fish. The doors opened at 2 p.m. for the silent auction with the live auction beginning at 3 p.m. At 5 p.m., dinner was served with the raffle afterwards. A local DJ volunteered his equipment and time to broadcast the Arkansas Razorback football game. Even though Greg was so sick, he was determined to surprise everyone by attending the event for a little while. He was so overwhelmed that many people in our community had come together to help him and his family. When he walked inside the event, everyone started clapping their hands and cheering for him. It was so overwhelming for everyone. There was not a dry eye in the room. Greg could hardly speak as tears rolled down his face, but told everyone, Thank you is not enough. I am overwhelmed with your compassion. Greg was able to stay for several hours visiting with everyone, but tired quickly. Overall, the families are put up not been any better, but the most important thing it did was bring people together. It taught me there are still caring and compassionate people in this world, especially in my community. It taught me that one small idea with the help of others can turn into something big and amazing. It taught me to never give up and to always fight for what is important to me. I have always heard things happen for a reason, even though some circumstances are terrible and there are some good things can come out of it. Most of all, it taught me God does provide if we trust in Him. I can link my story to the painting I found in Crystal Bridges called Our Town by Carrie James Marshall. I did not link the painting by what Marshall states about racism. My take from the painting is that the community is coming together. The people look like they are proud of their community. I can relate this to my story because I am proud of my community and what they did for Greg and his family. Our town really had to come together to make this event happen. The event was not only about making money, but also showing love for one another and feeling useful when the outcome is out of one's control. God has had an incredible presence in this case in the way he cannot be seen. I can connect both the story and the painting back to appreciating local community on the wheel of spirituality. I appreciate local community in this circumstance was getting enjoyment out of friends and family by supporting someone in need. 
The story about Greg and his family relates to this part on the wheel because Greg appreciated the community for everything they did. His family would not be able to focus on Greg healing without the support of our community. Greg would not have lived this long if it was not God's will and Greg's will to live for his loved ones.